Good afternoon. It's the Wall Street Weekly Wrap-Up, September 23rd, 2023. And I'm your host, John Newquist, and we've got some interesting things that happen. Let's start right off the bat. Google, all-time high. Wow. Nice channel. It hit it on Wednesday, and then, of course, the last two days it dropped down. The bottom of the channel, if you're going to buy, you want to buy good. Um, thinking about making their own chips for some of their uh, AI. And, you know, we're going to see eventually a lot of the stuff come out with AI from the search engine to the uh, YouTube and everything else. So we'll see. It'd be nice because I'd like to be able to know what I watch the most on YouTube and which uh, people I subscribe to I watch the most. So it'd be nice to get some data. Splunk. Well, that's a stock we bought uh, about six weeks ago. We've made 40% on it. It jumped up to $144. We sold it because it's being bought by Cisco. It's not going to go up much more than that. And uh, $28 uh, million, $150 a share. Uh, you know, you can just see. This is a stock. You know, we bought it right around here. The chart was good. And now we got this big pop-up. What a great deal. I'm sorry. I thought Splunk was good. I'd like to see it stay. Uh, we're not going to buy Cisco. Cisco, um, it grows. You know, Larry Ellison's talking about AI, that it's got all this stuff with the data center. They're doing work with Elon Musk, but no money. And that's seeing the revenues. And the stats, uh, you know, the whole thing is that uh, crude oil, $90 a barrel. But in England, the price of a pint is a record high euro. So about uh, four and a half euros or $5 a pint, uh, you know, in my town, you can get $3 beer, but you're not getting good beer. You know, you're getting like some of the, the discount beers, as I call it. But, uh, you know, the, if you want a good IPA, you pay $5. But uh, a lot of people are concerned about it. Uh, the metal's essentially flat. You know, everybody's watching copper. It's not over uh, four. So if it does, it means the economy's good. And the NASDAQ, you know, we're talking that this thing is dropping. You know, if I take a look at the Qs, which is the, you know, representative of NASDAQs, we have dropped almost 10%. So we have got our, really, you know, if you go from the peak of the NASDAQ at this time right here to now, we've got our 10% correction. Will it go down more? Sure, because it broke the 50-day moving average. Uh, the 200-day moving average is down here. I don't think it'll get down here. But we could drop another 7 or 8%. So we have our correction uh, on the NASDAQ, uh, the s and is not quite there. Uh, it was up uh, about 18.5%, so we've got 6% on the S&P 500. And uh, so that's the last one we're looking at. Again, October. You know, we got we predict the last two weeks of September, and we're going to hit it. And, boy, I tell you, it went down 5% in the loan, just the NASDAQ, everything else. The CPI uh, went up a little bit, 35 Seven percent. Um, July was lower. Core, of course, half of its gasoline prices that increased with ninety dollars oil, ninety two. A lot of people are betting. A lot of people are betting it's going to be hundred dollar oil. So we'll see. It's going to affect everybody's pocketbook. Everybody's going to come. Remember, October student loans are supposed to be starting to pay back, which again takes a lot of the money out of the people who had student loans. John Deere, you know, is a good stock. I mean, it's been a you know you can't. Have, done better if you bought a stock uh, 15 years ago with this one uh, been choppy it went down came back up on a rebound in uh, uh, the summer you know the big thing of the year is that they got drones they got computer guided instruments for uh, farming I mean everybody's gonna eventually buy their stuff and I think uh, right now you know it's kind of be slow so when they got a downgrade at you know Canon Accord look at this thing broke down so now it's below the 200-day average, the 50-day moving average, the 20-day moving average, and where will it go? I think it's going to test the lows, and uh, we'll watch because, you know, it's a good company. It's slowing down, and, you know, China's slowing down, but if the Ukraine, Ukraine war ends, guess who's going to get a lot of deer equipment? I saw a lot of deer equipment in Ukraine, so we'll see. You know, again, the Fed uh, rate cut, no cut, but higher for longer. No rate cut on the horizon, and that just tanked the market. That's why it's going down. That's why a lot of people are thinking, all right, I might buy bonds. I'll be in cash, but I am not going to be in the stock market because we don't have any kind of forecast that this is going to go down. And Apple, a uh, lot of stress in Apple people. You know, as Kramer always talks, it, hold it, don't trade it. Well... 
you bought it over here and you've dropped all this money from 100 to 174 yeah hold it for longer you know you're down over 10 12 percent on it and it's coming close to breaking the trend line here's the 200 day moving average could it break that three quarters in a row no increase in revenue negative revenues i think we're going to see a fourth everybody's saying oh the iphone was lined up around the block in china i said well it wouldn't run the block it was outside i've been there when they opened up you know the i6 uh, phone and i'll tell you it was around the block it was hundreds hundreds of people to get the new iphone 6 so uh it's it's under a thousand so it's not so bad but uh we'll see mgm talk about stubborn you know they use social engineering to pretend they found a person on linkedin and they found this person from mgm called up and synthesized his voice and they gave him the password on his phone and he created a floodgate and it locked up everything they wanted 30 million mgm paid 15 but they didn't pay so they just locked up everything so mgm's out there offering 100 bucks for somebody who knows linux to help rebuild the database works 710s i'm thinking if you know how to build a linux database from square zero you're worth 400 dollars an hour hundred dollars an insult to anybody who's good at programming and why would they do this why would they work 710s for mgm no uh that's why we're looking at this stock how far will it go well it's broke everything that you consider support and i don't know i mean you know now you're starting to look down over here and here at the support you know if it's in single digits we'll buy it because it's a casino it's going to make money it's a huge casino places everywhere but you know that's the whole thing and uh, just for the hackers, you know, the help desk, you're going to have to have face-to-face. -face. You cannot just be auto-tending, sending somebody who calls up and answers it, because now it can be synthetic voice. And really, does that person's voice, do you know everybody in your company? No. So we sold our Splunk. We didn't buy anything else. We're looking for materials and industrials. Uh, the fear and greed index, I always kind of laugh at, because it, if the market went down, and it's going down for a while, which is, you know, NASDAQ three straight weeks in a row, told you it's coming it's in the fear index now october everybody's bracing could be more down so like i said let's get out in october let's wait till we get some good news you know we'll get earning results in october and um you know i don't want to say nvidia is going to carry the market but you know it's going to be in november for nvidia and we have to wait and it will make a difference so we'll see you next week stay cool stay calm and let's make some money bye